I'm Jesse with Tiny Ida Homes. Um, we're a custom and standard uh, tiny house manufacturer. I wanted to uh, make a video on our Ozark that we currently have for sale. This unit is 20 foot long on the box. Uh, the tongue's 4 foot, so it's 24 foot total length. Uh, rear entry, it has one 6 foot slide out in it. Uh, this unit is completely off-grid capable, has holding tanks, uh, propane appliances, uh, 12 volt lighting, pretty much you want to go off-grid, this is the one to do it with. Uh, solar ready. Let's do a quick walkthrough, you can see here in the slide out, you'll see it inside, it's a big dinette area. It's got a smart soffit siding, we got cedar trim on it, stained cedar trim. Uh, propane storage here. This unit comes with standard with two batteries, two deep cycle batteries, group 27. Um, we got our water fill for our fresh holding tank here. This is the propane furnace. This is the exhaust for that and the access panel. Uh, 30 amp marine grade cord. This is our tank dumps here. We got a black and a gray dump. You can tell by the handles also, not just the stickers. This is the propane refrigerator intake and exhaust here. Uh, exhaust duct for the range hood. And this is a 10 gallon uh, electric and propane uh, water plant, a water heater, tanked water heater. Some I'd like to point out is we make our own trailers here. Um, this one can probably use a new bearing service, but uh, you can tell our trailers are beefy trailers. Uh, this one's had seen some road travel to some shows. So uh, on the back of this unit, we did a little short overhang to help keep water away from the door. Uh, we got some 12 volt lighting here on a switch. Cute little accent there and a full glass panel door. When you walk in this unit, you'll feel very, it's, it's got that home feeling, uh, but it is an RV, so to say. RV tiny house is what I like to say. Um, all right, we'll start over in this kitchen here. This is the propane electric fridge. It uh, works off-grid with the propane. If you plug in, you can run it off electric, propane freezer. We got Microwave, this runs only on 120 volt, but it's a nice big, big, big microwave, not just a small little RV style one. Uh, gas propane cooktop here, separate from the oven. This is a three burner, nice and big for a 20 foot unit, I gotta say. And a decent size stove, um, or oven, sorry. Again, Lights up blue knobs, blue writing on the front, uh, self-ignition, and that is propane also. We got a nice tile backsplash in here, Corian countertops, custom made cabinet, white uppers, gray lowers. Along with the kitchen we got, we do these inserts for Corian and a nice square sink here. Pull, a, pull down faucet. Everything there is is uh, brushed nickel and stainless. The light, you'll notice in here the lighting is all 12 volt. It is a, a beetle kill pine, blue pine ceiling with white beadboard walls. And then I have her walk around to show you the slide out area. So this is six foot interior dimension so we made this design for an extra sleeping area nice u-shape small table it folds down to a bed back cushion comes in the front here to make that bed area we put little shelves in the back we got usb and cigarette lighter plugs those are 12 volt they run off the batteries also the lights in the slide out are touch lights those are not on a switch they're just touch um, slide out on this side it is a 12 volt slide out, push of a button.
very very simple easy to work runs off batteries that's something we do that not many other builders do we do not have to push and pull this out manually you don't have to have supports on the outside it's all done with the the unit itself towards the floor down here you'll see the step up there's not much storage in here it is a fender well mostly there's a little bit on this end that's to just access up into this seating area underneath all the seating is storage you got lift up plywood underneath that so you can lift that up uh, unique feature with this tiny house all-in-one bathroom we call, like to call it a wet bath it's got a small sink we'll need a mirror here but uh, so this is a 36 inch shower with an RV toilet placed inside of it so I like to call it the 3s bathroom but uh, easy to clean your toilet you can put your legs up here while you're shaving, sit down while you're taking a shower, however you want to put it. Um, still separate holding tanks. We got the gray, we got the black. So the black is just toilet for off-grid capabilities. All the gray water goes into a separate tank. Um, we got a lowered ceiling in the bathroom because there is a roof-mounted air conditioner with vents going into every room. So this unit does have AC. come up into the front here and I'll have her pan around because it's a smaller room it is 20 foot this is a queen size bed again 12 volt lighting beadboard walls blue pine you got a little uh, cabinet on the side of the bed with an upper and then we like to say this is a small adjustable shelf closet we can put a closet rod in there if you wanted but it is for all sake purposes so to say it is closed storage underneath this bed it does lift up underneath the bed there is a water tank but it is the rest of it is all storage uh, we got a pocket door leading into this room and then on the wall coming out which will take you take a quick some shot of that this is your control panel that shows your batteries and your fresh gray and black tanks along with runs your 12 volt water pump so again, off-grid, you do not have to be hooked up to a hose. You just got to fill your tank, turn that on, and you got your water pump. This is your thermostat for your furnace, gas furnace, and your air conditioner. Uh, so that's the tour of this Ozark. It is for sale right now for $35,000, correct? $35,000. Uh, Close-out price because it was a show unit. Uh, or we can build you one to your specs.